it, who will be able to reunite Nigeria instantly. Every part of Nigeria is home for me. And I've demonstrated my capacity to reach out to every Nigerian, whether young, middle-aged, or old. So that's number one. Number two is my personal accomplishment in business. I have been a successful journalist. I've been a publisher. I have been a businessman. Everything I've done in my life is to manage people and resources. Leadership is not about politics. It's about successfully managing people and resources. I believe the economy of Nigeria will be better managed by someone who has been frugal enough to sustain a business for 26 years. Most of the people you have in politics today, all they are interested in is just grab, grab, grab. That's why Nigeria is in a mess. So you need someone who will come in and whip our politicians in line and say, no, every day cannot be Christmas. Look at the billions some people are pushing into the race right now. There is no way you would have managed your own business and you will waste all that money. I'm not going to offer a cobble to any delegate They know it, but I'm going to offer myself my character, my reputation, my integrity. In terms of infrastructure, we are way behind many even smaller African countries today. Fortunately, I've worked and interacted with world leaders, with African presidents. I know they don't have two heads. What it takes is the determination of one leader to succeed where others have failed. So I have the experience, the exposure to know that to fix roads does not take much. Eliminate corruption. I know that to fix our electricity does not make, and I've even attempted to help my country. I've helped other countries to do a lot of things, but my country has not given me the opportunity. When I have the opportunity now, I believe I'll be able to use all my global contacts to help my country. Now let's come back to something you said. You are not going to offer anybody any cobble. And we have seen delegates, just because they have been chosen as delegates, they have been congratulated. Because uh, people are expecting them to bring a busload of cash when they are returning. Um, have you interacted with them? And what has been the level of buying to your concept? You see, the truth of the matter is that I've been one of the smartest aspirants. Very smart, even if I'm the one saying so. Because until last night, we never got a list of the authentic delegates. Why? Yeah, because they were being compiled and nobody was sure what was going to happen. Are we using 3,000 delegates? Are we using 774 delegates? Only last night at the meeting of all aspirants, they gave us copies of the names of all the delegates. So if you had paid 3,000 delegates before, your money is gone. It's like a local casino. So I didn't partake in that. So now, we are seeing a new list of delegates. I don't know if people are talking to them, but I'm reaching out to them and I'm telling them I don't have money to give. Judge me on my character. Judge me on my records. Judge me on my accomplishment. Take your money back from those who have taken your money. But vote for your conscience, vote for the future of your children. All right, uh, so many other aspirants on the platform of the PDP um, that all of you are going uh, tomorrow to contest. Uh, we'll be seeing that how it unfolds. Uh, having interacted across the country, uh, are we maturing politically? Especially when Ghana must go is uh, also around the corner sometimes when some of these conventions, uh, uh, you know, come. I think... I think things are much worse today than it was even in 1999 when we returned from the military era. It's unfortunate. And that's why someone like me is offering a renewed hope to Nigeria that, look, this cannot continue. I'm one of the few people with the capacity to stop the cabal that seeks to hijack the future of Nigeria, that seeks to waste the future of our children. Because God has helped me to build an humongous network, it is not common what I've been able to build, to penetrate every home. I have full soldiers in every local government in Nigeria. I've developed an application that allows me to send palliatives to Nigeria in every part of Nigeria. Last year alone, we displayed about 23 million seven hundred and fifty to needy Nigerians. Average age, 39. Bruno had the largest applications of nearly 8,000 people. So you will know why there will be Boko Haram. The level of poverty, begging for $5,000, less than $10. I paid to different people in different parts of Nigeria. So rather than pay money to a few delegates, I'd rather go to Nigerians. Among them, a young man from Taraba wrote back. He said, the $5,000 you gave me, I set up 
a kerosene business. Now I'm a kerosene merchant. That should be the story of Nigeria, not the story of a people and their stomach. All right, let's uh, quickly take some issues uh, from your party. One of the main stories this week is the resignation of former Anambra governor, Mr. Peter B from the People's Democratic Party. Alofobi campaign organization Dr. Doyo Kukwe, speaking to newsmen at the PDP national headquarters in Abuja, announced Mr. Peter Obi's resignation in a letter titled Resignation from PDP and Withdrawal from the Presidential Contest, addressed to the PDP national chairman and dated May 24, 2022. The letter attributed his decision to recent developments within the PDP, which made it practically impossible to continue participating and making constructive contributions. In actual fact, the resignation letter had already been written to his world chairman as far back as 20th of uh, this month. Uh, the national chairman that this letter is just being informed and being updated on development. You recall that consistently, uh, former Governor Peter B has repeatedly stated that he is not desperate to be president. <laughs> All right, one gun from that race. Um, I hope the center can hold in your party because uh, already people have uh, some are feeling that uh, the process might uh, have some K leg. But uh, during the week as well, we heard that uh, perhaps you yourself were close to the you were close, very close to the fence. Never, I never start a journey that I have no intention of completing. I'm one, not one of such. I've heard rumors they said Dele has pulled out of the race, pulled out for who? When I know I have the best resume, the best credentials in the race. It's not about how much you have. It's about who you are. There is no Nigerian globally today, and I've operated in over 60 countries on five continents, who can call me a local champion. Most of the people you see in politics are local champions because they have access to money. Then people say, oh, big wigs. Big wigs in what? In disorganizing our country. This is not the country of our dreams. A country that produced the Aulawas, the Aziki Ways, the Sadanas, the Tafa Balewas, the Malamamino Kanos. See how far we have come and degenerated and deteriorated. It's unfortunate. So that is why the intellectuals amongst us, the technocrats amongst us, those of us who are not looking for what to eat any longer, but want to build a legacy for the future, we must be in the race. And I know the whole world is watching us. And I'm reassuring them, we are going to sign an agreement of deliverables with Nigerians that if we fail, this is what you should do to us. Well, let's look at your party. Uh, uh, even contesting at all and getting to the podium was a matter of uh, 40 million naira. Uh, how has that uh, helped us in terms of our democracy, getting this war chest and uh, especially uh, in, against the backdrop of uh, you know, current realities? It has discouraged a lot of young aspirants. Even for me, I had to sweat to raise the 40 million. Because you don't I, look like you are sweated. Oh, I, I, trust me, I sweated. But I was fortunate. I was probably the first Nigerian to solicit funds like they will do in the US. There is no country in the world where anybody will spend his own personal savings on politics. So I appealed to young Nigerians, they rose up. Some people gave me as little as 500 naira, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And of course, a few big friends also come, came to my rescue. Look, we had to do that. Not because we supported it, but you must fulfill all righteous, righteousness. They said, obey first and then complain. I complained thereafter, but I'm happy I'm in the race. And I'll be in the race till the end on Sunday by the grace of God. And that is it. Before I ask you, uh, you know, what you would do immediately after, if you win, let me ask you the first one. If you don't win, what happens? Uh, are you uh, like some others uh, in the past, uh, jumping ship and trying to follow uh, to see if you could uh, still actualize your money somewhere? I am an incurable optimist. Incurable optimist. There is nothing I have started that I did not hand over to God. So I can assure you that I'm in the race to win. Mm. It will sound funny to some people. Oh, 
Well, when I went to visit the Alapi of Oyo, <coughs> the Oyomisi, the, the Bashan of Oyo, he said some people might be laughing. But how can they be the next president when you have the articles, when you have the Tinubus? He said it's those who don't know God who speaks like that. My life has been a miracle. And that miracle has not ended. In fact, at every stage of this movement, I've witnessed All, all right, let me ask you the second one. So if you win, permit the pun, will the ovation be loud? Very, very loud. It will be the biggest story of hope to young Africans. In the last few weeks, I've been outside Nigeria, and everywhere I'll be surprised that even at immigration, at customs in Ghana, everybody is interested in Nigeria because of this global brand. They don't know most of the people contesting. That's the truth. Minus maybe one or two who have been vice president. They don't know them. So the prayer is that we will be able to restore hope to the hopeless and help to the helpless and help our country become a country for all and not for a few. Before we come for the last line, the African Democratic Party has held a debate among uh, its uh, aspirants to decide who will become the front runner in the party's race to the presidential villa. This is not a school debate, but a test of competence among aspirants vying for the presidential seat on the platform of the African Democratic Congress. The presidency is a job just like every other job. And like any job, it has a job description. A platform a is created for cancelling Mohan and other contenders to reveal their prospect. If I get the party ticket, as I hope, we are going to wake up the Nigerian masses and let them see their own power to change their destiny. And a very clear plan to secure their lives, a plan to improve education, a plan to improve the economy. There is one thing that I will do. The first thing is to take care of education. The second thing is to take care of education. And the third thing is to take care of education. Because there is no society in human history that has developed beyond their level of education. If I become the Nigerian president, Nigeria will be a reformed nation. With a show of will and display of prospect by the aspirants, the next stage is for the delegates to decide who becomes the party's flag bearer in a matter of days. ADC is here to make sure that everybody's value is well represented. So that's what we want Nigerians to see. We must not let the next generation to come and go like this. Therefore, this is our time, Nigerians. All right, so like uh, the saying in one of the early books, many are called and few will be chosen. Over this weekend, uh, two will emerge in the PDP, that's on Saturday, and the APC on Sunday. Of course, it will roll over to the next days, and uh, a lot of Nigerians are watching. Don't forget to continue watching, especially on this platform, the Nigerian Television Authority, Africa's finest and best. I still have, uh, for the last line, uh, uh, publisher, aspirant now, uh, Dili Momodu, your last words to delegates and Nigerians in general. My passionate appeal to my dear party members in PDP, our delegates, you have been chosen at a momentous period in the history of our country. Everything seems to be in disarray. We now have an opportunity to show Nigerians that we have learned from our past mistakes and they are, we are ready to make amends. I'm appealing to your conscience in the name of Almighty God. No amount of money should buy your conscience. Vote for the future of Nigeria. Vote for a man who can reunite Nigeria. Vote for a man who is a global brand. Vote for a man you know too well. I will give you a Nigeria for all. I love you. Right, and uh, on this note, we say vote for the Nigerian Television Authority for your news, reviews, previews, and interviews where we give you the very best. Uh, throughout the weekend, we will be there. PDP, APC, to give you the latest and our updates. My name is Fisai Ogunfu. I always tell you, this season is here. Play your politics for the greater good. Bye-bye now. Thank you.
Once a day, seven days a week, you can watch APA International live on your TV, computer, iPad, tablet and phone. Log on to visiontv.co.uk and click on entertainment. Then NTAI. You can also download the iOS or Android app on your mobile device to watch NTA International on the go. Anywhere in the world. NTA International. Your window to the world. Information is power. Everyone wants power. So feel powerful with the NTA News Mobile app, the one stop information center. Real news at your fingertips. Be the first to report by uploading personal information on the U Report link. And be the first to know by simply clicking on any of the links on the sidebar for headlines, domestic and foreign news, economy, security, politics, sports, and more. Stream live on your smartphone and tablets and stay connected. It's pretty easy. Simply download NTA News app from your Google Play Store and you're good to go. NTA News mobile app, your access to real-time information. When I labor mine, we do not allow change. The Kuma Bella Baron won in Jerida, she need anything Bella Baron, take a one day that she had a way and chill. Oh, what you can? 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 Oh, this is the network service of the NDA. When music meets dance, love meets poetry, and stories meets drama, your joy, laughter,